Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You in Cartier World today. We got another reaction video, bro. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, sub up, man. Like, comment, sub up. Do y'all thing, bro. Turn on them post notifications. Run them numbers up, man. Start that dialogue up, man. Comment. I might even get at you in them comments. So do y'all thing, bro. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all. It's all love, man. We on a mission, dude. You know what we need. 5,000 subs, bro. Let's get to 5,000 subs. We as consistent as ever. Man, we coming back to back to back today. We got Tretch finally speaks on his and Tupac's brawl. You know what I'm saying? With the Rolling 60s at the Comedy Club in L.A. Sheesh. If y'all don't know Tretch, he's a part of the group Naughty by Nature. Uh, shout out to uh, Tretch from the East Coast. Tupac, R.P. Tupac, man. West Coast legend. And we know we we do know Tupac grew uh grew up in in New York, but you know what I'm saying where y'all where do y'all think he claimed the East Coast or West Coast? What what would y'all say? Let me know in them comments, man. And if y'all don't know, that's the infamous Rolling Sixties, man, a L.A. gang, uh, you know, all on Crenshaw, Crenshaw, and Sausage area. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna see what happened when they squabbled up about this before man but i gotta ask you i seen dave Chappelle. he spoke about it phase on love he spoke about it on my platform before shmoo b he spoke about it on my platform before eddie griffin he was there that night damn you tell me about the fuck nigga had everybody talking about it golly boy if y'all don't know now y'all do know and you and Pac had at the comedy store in la yeah in la yo we we it was crazy. It was in California at the comedy store for Sunset, right next to the Sunset Hyatt. It was a comedy store. That was the mm -hmm. biggest comedy spot out there. And what happened, we had end up going to this spot. Um, this spot, the comedy spot, listening to comedy, having fun, doing all this. Um, it was like me, him, gang of other mm -hmm. um like people we was with. And what happened, we came at well, it was like every Wednesday, or every Thursday, we came on the week after the Thursday beforehand. Like some of the biggest crips in L.A., the rolling 60s, they had gotten to an altercation with some bloods. Mm. And from what the story. Hold on. So it sounded like, boom, they was going to this spot, little comedy uh, club in L.A., but they went on an off day on a day they usually don't go. They run into some crips. Well, why? If y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? Suge Knight, the CEO, is a blood. Suge Knight, the CEO of Death Row, nigga, super blood, super gangster. Was the bloods got the best of them. I think they was like outnumbered or whatever. Mm. So, you know, with the gang culture and mentality, they was like, we going back there next week to get some get back. Mm. So who had did that to them wasn't in there. But we was in there. Mm. So when the Rolling Sixties came in, they came in, who? D. And when they did, they came in first and they just started picking up chairs. <laughs> Nigga sound shook. He said, hey, who? D. They came in on that. Hey, man, yeah, man. Them Rolling Sixties ain't nothing to play with for sure. They coming in head hunting. Nigga, they, yeah, they was trying to get they get back. And nigga, you was with the bloods. You blood by affiliation, man. That's how L.A. work. It don't matter if you don't bang, nigga, wherever you, you lived at, your grandma live at, uh, your cousins is from, your uncle, your pop, anybody in your family, wherever they from, you automatically affiliated with that gang. And nigga, that's your hood, basically. Bottles and all the rest of that. We heard a commotion in the back, and, like, it wasn't really too much of nothing because mm. we, you know, it could be fights anywhere or whatever. Before we got a chance to look back, like, pow, I got Ooh. hit in the head with a chair. Shit. And Bottles was, like, thrown on stage because whoever was on stage bounced. They was out. It was a fool. <laughs> so when I turned around, that's when I walked around. Them <laughs> niggas start running all over. Niggas store Bottles. Niggas get in the head. Hey, they got up out of there, homie. Oh, man. Chain the lock around for our homies locked down. So I took that shit off immediately. Pop and everybody that was with us picked up bottles and chairs. And it just was like an all-out brawl. 
Mm. You know what I mean? So we end up fighting our way. We got up out of there. You know what I mean? We, we did what we had to do. But it was so, you know, real. We actually had, we had got green lit out there by the 60s. So that's mm. a green light is like on site. Niggas going to going roll on you and handle, handle business. It's like a hit. So I had to get up with my family that was out there. Um, and that was uh, Brother William Muhammad from Number 54 Mosque in Compton. Mm. That was like my homie, but he had this security and all the rest of that there. So Pac was out of town at the uh, time. I was coming back. He was like, yo, paying this shit out here in these streets. Um, we need to meet up. Mm. So where you want to do it? Like, you want to go somewhere? I'm like, man, where where we? He's like, we need to meet up with him to to, to dead this because I know homies over there and anything else. So we <clears> met up in Compton. It's that's hard, bro. Shout out to uh, shout out to the Muslims, man. Shout, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my oxen. Shout out to all my Muslims. That's really hard. You know, they bring in peace. You know what I'm saying? Usually that's how it happens, man. You got to have somebody that y'all both know kind of like, all right, we're going to settle our differences. You know what I'm saying? They meet up in Compton, so all respectful, you know, because they know it was hot. You heard them, nigga. They had to squabble their way out of there. You know what I'm saying? Tupac was really thugging out there, homie. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Tupac was thugging, homie. He was thugging. And nigga, they fought up, got out that bra, but just because they made it out that day didn't mean they was good for sure. So they had to, you know, then later on kind of officially squash it and like, all right, let's 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 really make sure we good so we don't got to be looking over our shoulders out in these streets. And it was basically let it be known, like, we ain't disrespect the gang. We just was doing what we had to do to get up out there. So they took the green light off and anything else. Mm. And the rest is history. We still here. We ain't have to go through that. Crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, that's wild, man. And you and Pac, y'all had another fight in San Francisco, right? Smooth B told me about that one. Smooth. I'm, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> in a day, and especially to all all the new artists that's out, and even the ones that came after us 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we had to literally fight through cities mm. just from being out of town. Like, it wasn't just, you know, gangs in L.A. and anything else. You go to Little Rock, Arkansas, you go, <laughs> yo, and these, 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 the girls is all backstage and all the rest of it. Mm. Yo, trying to come back to the hotel, Nick, that ain't a good look. You feel me? So we literally had to fight out of situations. You know, back then, we was raw, we was, we was young and dumb. We had straps, we had homies we know everywhere, so... And yeah, they was thugging, homie. This nigga right here look like a nut. Straight up. Tretch look like a nut. I ain't gonna cap you down. You feel me? But they was really just out there, man. You know, hip-hop wasn't as advanced at, as it is now back then. So they was kind of learning the ropes. And yeah, man, jealousy crazy. Yeah, you out there, you getting money. Nigga, you the star. The girls on you. Yeah, it's gonna be some hate, man. Niggas gonna be trying to get at you, but it's good that they, you know, knew how to maneuver and, and handle themselves, and they wasn't rolling around like some punks. You know what I'm saying? The time it could be on, cause you get tested. They like all oh, these niggas, hardcore rappers, all that. They ain't real like that. They ain't, they ain't about it. They ain't that. So they right. test you. And our whole thing, we wasn't trying to be harder than nobody. Rakim said it best. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. Mm. You ain't gonna take no whole town down out of niggas that ain't fucking with you or want to want want a piece. You doing what you got to do to get up out of there and get back home and not sit home in a box. Mm. So we we banged out. You know what I mean when we had to. But it's a better situation now because a lot of artists learn how to roll and don't think like you the sh from where you from. You in somebody else's town and you you could be fooled <clears throat> if you be rude. <laughs> <laughs> feel me? All right. That's real talk. And me looking at you, you more of a bigger guy. Pac, he was a small dude, right? No, I'm small. Me and Pac was the same. We was like 160 pounds, 5'10", 5'11". I'm, mm. I'm 5'10", 5'11". I'm now, I'm 170 pounds. I'm just cut the fuck up. I ain't playing. You know what I mean? I got I got work with them things and shit. I've been paused is still right. 
But nah, I'm not no big dude. I'm not no big dude. I'm just I just know how to handle mine. Right, mm. right. So Pac, he could get busy, yo, even though he was a small dude. Yeah, we squabble. We squabble. If we had, if somebody's coming with us with some something, we we pull out too. You know what mm. I mean? But we we from the school like, yo, let's get this fade. Let's get this fair one. And then anybody jump in and my homies jumping in. Like we come from the era where we rather fight, get it on. But nowadays it's like, I just say all the all the new rappers coming out, it ain't nothing punk about getting your security, getting your people right, and all that and, and roll correct, cause nowadays ain't nobody fighting. Facts. Facts, homie. Don't get shot out here trying to act tough. You will get popped, nigga. This, you know what I'm saying? You ain't above getting popped. So high your security. It ain't the same no more. This is a new era, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think of them comments, bro. It's Cartier. You want Cartier World?